Hello everybody, my name is Edgar Rodriguez and this is Kip, my service dog. And today we're going to be reinforcing eye contact. To start proofing your eye contact, we're going to start from a sitting position. You're going to have a treat in each of your hands and then you're going to put it right on your face and then move your hands away. You can shake them a little bit and yes. Yes, and reward your dog. I use the term in market word, yes, because um, if I use good and reward, he will have to break the position to be able to take the treat, and that ruins everything. So what we're going to do is, again, we're going to take two of the treats, put it right next to your face, and move from here. Yes. And always switch with, between one hand and the other one, which one is giving the treat. That way he don't look at that hand where you get used to giving the treat. So you want to switch between hands. Let's go back to the sitting position. I see. Now keep come. Come here. I see. Nice. So right now we're adding the command to this behavior. Uh, if you haven't watched my video, where I start doing this, which is eye contact game. You can go ahead, I'm gonna leave it on the comments below or it's gonna be on the card right now. Um, watch that video to see how I start this behavior. At this point, he already was looking at me. We didn't have a command before, but now we're gonna add a command, which the command is gonna be look in the case of Kip. Look. Kip, look. See, it's something moving back there which is distracting him. And this is a good opportunity to show what's going on. You see, he's going back there. Something is moving that is calling his attention. And I want to start to break that. Um, and this is a great exercise for, that, for doing that. Yes. Yes. So that's a great opportunity right now to show you because something is moving uh, in the treats. I think it's, uh, it's a squirrel. And he's turning his face and look over there. So I'm trying to bring his attention back to my eyes. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and get my hands close to his face. Good. Yes, good boy. For your dog, doing this, you know, paying attention, staying there, it's a really hard work. Um, so I love this because it's an exercise that only, not only you can do it inside your house, but the second thing, I know it's going to uh, exercise his brain, so it's like a mental exercise for my dog. So from this position, now we're going to do um, look. He looks right here. We're going to have one hand move away. That hand is going to come to his face. No. No. Good. You see right there, it's a good opportunity to correct. Good. Good. No. Good. Yes. Yes. So that was a good opportunity to correct him. So and no for Kip is a correction. Um, so if he tries to look at my hand, the one that I'm moving next to him, I'm going to go ahead and say, and eh, no, correct that. And when he looks back to me, I say good and uh, motivate him to continue to look at me. I'm taking, I'm doing this for a long time. Uh, you have to start with less time. So shorter period of time when he's looking at you if you're in the beginning of the proofing. So now I'm going to have one hand on my back. I'm only going to have one hand. Look, and it's going to come right here. I'm going to come close to his face again and go away. Yes. And reward him. This next time, I'm going to have one in each hand. And one hand is going to be in the back again. And the other hand is going to be the one that he's going to be getting distracted with. Keep coming. But at the end, I will reward with the hand that is on my back. Keep coming. I see. Look. So my, the hand that I have in the back is the one that's going to be rewarding him. A lot better than before, huh? 
This is good. Reinforce that position. Good. Good. Yes. And I reward with this hand. Yes. Let's do it again. Keep coming. I see. This time I'm going to switch hands, okay? So we're going to go right here. This hand is going to go on the back. This hand is the one that's moving around. Good. Good boy. Good. Yes. And I reward with the same hand. So I'm going to go here again. Look. Good. Good. And yes. And I reward with the other hand. So he don't know where the food is going to come from. So that's how I, I play with one hand and then the other hand. Now we're going to do it from the healing position. Keep going. Up here. So he's looking at me from this position right now. And I want him to stay looking at me. Every time he comes to the heel position, um, he needs to be looking at my face because he don't know if he's going to get another command. So I want him to be always looking at me. So now we're going to play a game when this hand right here is moving around him, trying to distract him. Hand is getting close to him. And no, no. Good. Good boy. Good. Good. Yes. You saw that break right there. It was a big sound. Uh, you didn't hear that maybe in the video, but it was a big sound going on, coming on from that side of my house. Um, and he looked over there and came back to me. This is not a competition dog, so he's allowed to find out what's going on really quick like he did and came back to me. We want to reinforce it more and more to a point maybe that even that sound, there was a big sound, um, doesn't make him look away and come back. But we can work on that. Actually, that's uh, an opportunity to improve. So we're going to go back to the healing position. Um, he's looking at me right there. And that's what I want, okay? This is all I want, it seems, for him to be there. And then I'm going to take two steps forward. Keep, look, OP, OP, OP. Up here. Up here. Up here. Good. Good boy. So, you see, I did move forward a little bit. I came around and we move in this in small space um, with eye contact at all time. Free. Free. Which it, it will help in a BC situation. So, your service dog should be trained to be looking at you for the most part. Always trying to find your eyes and be attentive to you because distractions are going to come. Remember, with a service dog, you are everywhere. You go to the, to the grocery store, you go to the store, you go to the airport, you go to a plane. And you need a dog that is always, no matter what you do, is always trying to find that eye contact. And that's why I think this uh, training is so important for your dog. Let's do one more time from the sitting position. Good. Good boy. Good. I'm going to go really close to his face. Good boy. Yes. Yes. Good. Good boy. So you see, I have the trees right next to his head and he's still looking at me. He knows the most important things are my eyes and he wants to stay in contact with my eyes because that's how reward is going to happen. If you get your dog used to that, what's going to happen is every time you move around, he's going to try to find your eyes. He's always looking for my eyes everywhere I go, he's trying to have that contact with me, which for me, it's important. This is not a competition dog. This is a service dog. And I need that eye contact so he can know when I do this. Immediately he can get the command. He knows what I want from him. I want my dog to be ready. And for my dog to be ready every time I move, he needs to try to find my eyes. From this position, I can move away from people. This is, for me, really important because this position would first help me to stay away from people and, and take less space. Second, it's gonna help push people away so they don't come and pet my dog or ask to pet my dog. I don't think people want to pet my dog 
in the position where he's at right now. And the third thing is I want from this position from him to pay full attention to me if we are in a really busy place with a lot of distraction, this will be the ultimate position. Keep look. Yes, good boy. That was a long pause right there in the video. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is how important is that is for me. This is gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. That way you get notified every time we post a new video.